this is me saluting you. I'm a big fan of your work. How quickly you rattled their cages, broke them all down. It's not about breaking, it's about helping them. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, our thing, isn't it? To be in someone's mind, to have complete control. It's like the thrill of being near the executioner's switch, knowing that at any moment you could throw it, but knowing you never will. But you could. Never isn't the right word, because I could, and I might. I probably will. Will you sit down, please? Yeah, sure. Sorry. That make you nervous? Not my intention. Well, so, who would you like to discuss first? How about you? <laughs> That's good, but we don't really have time for jokes, so let's jump right into it, shall we? Now, I've long maintained psychological dossiers on every single one of those raving lunatics in your waiting room right now. The top one, and the thickest by far, is Charlie's, of course. But I'd rather start with Mac. Start with a simple one. Now, how did your session with him go? Dennis, as I think you know, I'm not at liberty to discuss another patient. Listen, why don't you think of me more as a peer? You know, in the academic sense, of course, in terms of age, you're decades older than me. <laughs> but why don't I start, okay? Um, if you'll open up your dossier there, you'll see that on the first page is something that you picked up on almost immediately, which is his reverse body dysmorphia. And this, a well-placed pen can have quite an effect on a man like him. <laughs> this must have given him quite the thrill. I bet he tried to suck on this, did he? Huh? It's okay, Doc. You can tell me he's always sucking on the pens in our apartment. I'm always having to hide them. Well, I showed you mine. Why are some of these pages written in crayon? My file on D was started in the second grade. Interesting. Interesting. Tell me about these size pills you're giving, Mac. Well, no, that's more like it. So they're mechakinephedra. <laughs> Calling them size pills was an elegant solution. Uh, the guy was gross. It was disgusting. He was fat as shit. He smelled like shit. He sounded like shit. His groans, his snores, the sleep apnea. It was gross. He was repulsive, really. So he has no appetite because you're drugging him secretly. Giving a man medicine for his disease. Wherever did I get that idea? What are you writing? Writing? Oh, nothing. Drawing. Drawing conclusions. And drawing this. You like it? It's very generous. <laughs> 